Hey, how's it going? So I wanted to start today with a short little video on the scales that I've been posting and which I'm remaking at a higher quality with this super nice um, Canon that shoots at 1080p 60 frames per second and it gives a much much better quality image than my than my cell phone. Uh, what I wanted to say was that the, the scales that I've been posting can be played by any really really any instrumentalist can play it but because I'm making these videos right now um, as a fast track version to help my my own students and really anybody out there there I teach orchestra so you know this would be any violin player any viola player any cellist or bassist can play them so you see me like playing on the viola uh, and I'm predominant I'm primarily a violist but you see I've got my violin back there and I'll go back and forth but it doesn't mean that just because I'm playing it on viola it's only for viola players so if you're a cellist you can play it too if you're a bass player you can play along as well and so you know if you are a, uh, a, a, a growing musician and you and it helps you to have that adult model to adjust your intonation to look at for posture if you play upper strings that's not such a bad thing if, you, if you're very independent uh, at, at a certain point you know as a young adult uh, as, a, as a young musician if you're an independent player and you can practice and you don't need the scales then you know all power to you and that's really really good and obviously practice your scales every day but if you are but if, if, it, if it benefits you to have that adult model then then by all means use this when you practice you know because everyone's in a different place so if you are a student that doesn't have a private teacher and you're thinking well I want to get better at my instrument you you know getting better doesn't happen in a vacuum you need some kind of support so um, if you have a private instructor who's there coaching you or if you have a really good orchestra director who's telling you right uh, in class hey you need to hold the instrument this way and do, and do these certain things then you're going to improve because you have the support and so think of this like that kind of support so from all the way from the way that I'm holding my bow to the way that I am playing my, and my left hand technique and my bowing technique if, if you right now are uh, social distancing right like all of us are because we are in the middle of this global pandemic of, of the coronavirus and if you are home and you are not engaged with your private teacher if, or you don't have one or you're not doing um, orchestra because schools are closed then this is a really good way to 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 ask yourself hey uh, am i bowing correctly am i uh, holding my instrument correctly uh, is my left hand look good you know am i producing a good tone is my bow parallel when i'm playing uh, so these are things that you can kind of be your own teacher. You have to be your own teacher. But again, I'm here to model for you and to give you that kind of support. Okay? So with that being said, I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope you guys are staying safe. If you have questions and if you have, uh, if you have things that you want to see, uh, please tell me. Okay? And so subscribe if you haven't done that. I appreciate it. I will see you around, be safe, and take care. Thanks for watching that video. If there's any questions you have or anything I can help you with, I am only a comment away. So, remember to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.